morning students let's start exercise 4.2 question number 1 give first the step you will use to separate the variable and then solve the equation see what it is given to separate the variable now what we have to do in this we have to separate the variable see x minus 1 which is variable in this x x is the variable in next question x Here y, y. These are the variables. See now, and this is constant. Yes, variable and this is constant. So we have to separate the variable and then solve the equation. We are going to separate. So what we are going to do first now? See, it is see variable is x. What is your variable? Variable is x. Okay. Now, we, what we are going to do? We, we are going to transfer. One to the right hand side. Okay, we are going to separate the variable. So what we are going to do here? Minus one it is given. Yes. So we are going to transfer minus one to the right hand side. Yes. See variable C minus one we are going to transfer to the right hand side. So minus one if it will come to right hand side it will become plus one. Yes. Here it is minus one. Now minus one will come to the right hand side. It will become plus one. Okay. So this. So this is our first step. Okay. Now x is equal to zero plus one. One. What is our answer? X is equal to one. Now let's see next. X plus one is equal to zero. What we are going to do here? Separate the variable. Variable we have to keep alone. We are going to separate the variable. So now what we are going to do with variable? See, X plus one it is given. So what we are going to do? This one we are going to transfer to the right hand side. This one we are going to transfer to the right hand side. See, x will be here only. For x we are not going to shift anywhere. X will be here only. Now we are going to transfer plus one to the right hand side. If plus one it is here, if it will come to the right hand side, then it will become minus minus one. Okay. So this is our first step for this question. Now x is equal to now zero minus one zero minus one minus one yes zero minus one minus one okay see now next example x minus one is equal to five x minus one is equal to five we are going to separate the variable so let x be here only minus one we are going to shift to the right hand side yes. Minus one, we are going to shift to the right hand side. We are going to transfer minus one. We are going to transfer to the right hand side. Then minus one it will come to this side. Then it will become plus one. Yes, minus one will come to this side. Then it will become plus one. So this is first step for. So this is our first step. So x is equal to five plus one. Six. So x is equal to six. Now next, x plus six is equal to two. Separate the variable. So let variable be here only. Okay. Now six we are going to transfer to the right hand side. Six is which side it is? Left hand side. Now we are going to transfer to the right hand side. Now it is plus six. If we will transfer to the right hand side, then it will become Minus six. Yes. Okay. So x is equal to two minus six. See, it is your plus six. If it will come to the right hand side, then it will become minus six. Okay. It will become minus six. So x is equal to two minus six. See, two is your plus. 
the correct answer minus sin is for the answer. So x is equal to minus 4. Now next, so a is which is cos square, this is cos square. Okay, now let's solve this example. Y minus 4 is equal to minus 7. Y minus 4 is equal to minus 7. Now see y is the variable. We have to separate the variable. So now what we are going to do? Minus 4 we are going to shift to the right hand side. Minus 4 will come to the right hand side. Then it will become plus 4. Minus 4 it is for left hand side minus 4. If it will come to the right hand side. See this is left hand side. This is equal to this side is left hand side. This is right hand side. Now we are going to shift minus 4 to the right hand side. So it will become plus 4. So this is our first step. So y is equal to minus 7 plus 4. Minus plus minus. Minus plus minus. So subtract 4 from 7. Answer is 3. Okay. Now see. Which sign will come for the answer? Greater number sign will come. Now which is greater number in this? See, hide this sign. Which is greater in this? 7 is greater. 7 has negative sign. So minus 3 is the answer for this. So y is equal to minus 3. Okay. Now let's solve next example. y minus 4 is equal to 4. Now we are going to separate y. y now minus 4 will come to this side. See this 4 we have right here only. Minus 4 will come to this side. Then it will become plus 4. Okay. So y is equal to a. This is our first step in this example. So y is equal to a. Let's solve question number 2. Give first the step you will use to separate the variable and then solve the equation. This question is also same like first question only. Okay. Now we are going to separate the variable. See. Now 3L. See. 3L. 3L means 3 multiplied by L. See. 3L. 3 multiplied by L means 3L. Okay. Now it is here multiplied. 3 is here multiplied. Now what we are going to do? We are going to separate the variable. So we are going to keep variable alone in. Yes, so 3 we are going to transfer to the right hand side. Yes, we are going to keep L here, variable here. See, 3 is here multiplied. 3 is here multiplied. If we will shift 3 to the right hand side, it will become dy. It will become dy. So, 42 upon 3 will come. Yes, 3 is here multiplied. If it will come to this side, then it will become dy. So, L is equal to. So, what is the first step? This is our first step. Okay. This is our first step. So, now divide 42 by 3. See here. 42 on 3. See. 3 on the 3. 3 on the 12. 3. So, L is equal to 14. So, L is equal to 14. See, let's solve question B. B upon 2 is equal to 6. Now, we are going to separate the variable. We are going to separate the variable. So, now what we need to do here? 2, we have to shift to the right hand side. Now, 2 is here dy. Yes, 2 is here dy. If it will come to right hand side, then it will become multiplied. See here. B is equal to 6 multiplied by 2. This is our first step. Okay. We did here, we transfer 2 to the right hand side. So, left hand side 2, it is dy. If it will come to the right hand side, then it will become multiplied. So, B is equal to 6 to the 12. So, A is equal to 12. So, B is equal to 12. Now, let's solve question number C. P upon 7 is equal to 4. P upon 7 is equal to 4. So, what we are going to do here now? P here 
here only we are going to transfer 7 to the right hand side 7 is here divide 7 is for left hand side 7 is divide now 7 will transfer to the right hand side then it will become multiplied so right hand side number as it is only what we did 7 we transfer to the right hand side so it will become multiplied so 3 is equal to 4 7 is 28 4 7 is 28 so with this which is the first step this is our first step
Now next, see. 20 T means if 20 is here multiplied, if 20 we will transfer to the right hand side, then it will become divide. 20 is multiplied here. 20 is here multiplied. If we will transfer 20 to right hand side, then it will become divide. So P is equal to 120 upon 20. Okay. So this is our third step. Cancel to the right to see that way.